Quick video for you on updating the firmware on Godox flashes and the transmitters. The procedure with this is pretty simple but I'll take you through it. First thing you need to do is remove batteries from the units. That might seem obvious but with the transmitters you can leave the batteries in there and you don't need them at all to update the firmware. We have different connectors with these units depending on what you're updating the firmware on. I'm going to be looking at the X-Pro so that's a type C connector. Make sure you connect it directly to the computer. Some of the hubs, particularly the unpowered ones, might not have enough juice to power the unit. If you head over to the Godox website, and I will put the links below, make sure you install the correct program. It's G1, G2 and G3. The G3 does not work with the other ones. I've tried it myself, so in this case we're going to have to use the G2. But check the model number of which ones are available. They also have an installer there for Apple computers and Windows. They finally got round to that. And then you can just download the one for your particular model. Now I'm going to open the G2, select the file which I've already just downloaded and put on the desktop. You can see it quite clearly marked there and that loads the file. All you need to do is just hit the upgrade button and then it will take about a minute, minute and a half and it will download the files, update them to the unit and then what it does is go through a verification phase at the last stage so it lets you know that it's done it correctly. Not exactly sure why Godox have three different installers but make sure you get the right one for the device that you are updating. On the screen now you can see it's almost finished and it just takes a couple of seconds to upload and then verify the files. If you run into a problem and the software crashes like it has done here just restart it and try it again. I haven't managed to brick a Godox unit at least to date. Now that I've done the update I'm going to just put the batteries in and check the firmware version on the unit. So to do this I just press the menu button and it comes up version 1.2 in the corner and that's pretty much it. 